Globally, reducing emissions to mitigate climate change is crucial for a more sustainable future. New Seed is increasing contract production of New Seed Carinata for certified sustainable, non-food, low-carbon, renewable feedstock, helping to reduce emissions by replacing fossil fuels, removing carbon from the air as it grows, and restoring it to the soil through its extensive root system. Soil carbon regeneration is key to our future. Soil carbon loss is a growing problem, one that's been in the works for centuries and contributing to climate change. What happens is we lose carbon every day off of our soils, and we need to stop that loss over time because we only have three places in the globe to put carbon, water, air, and soil. And it's critical that we start putting more in the soil because we know the other two have deteriorous effects to the environment. So we need to put more in our soil and that's what's critical to move forward. Glenn Johnson is head of sustainability for New Seed Carinata and leads the development of the company's independently certified program to offer a simple solution to a complex problem. Instead of leaving bare land during the harsh winter, plant a resilient non-food cover crop for low carbon renewable feedstock that helps reduce, remove, and restore carbon. So the ability for Carinata to reduce or remove emissions is huge. The ability through that, Carinata can be grown during the off season as a cover crop and really be able to pull CO2 out of the atmosphere and put it into its root systems. That's what's critical with Carinata is its root system and its above ground biomass and a very small seed we harvest. And so that seed with its oil fraction, that's what really, through the Carinata life cycle, helps decarbonize the fuel pool. The oil processed from the seed provides a drop-in solution to help hard to decarbonize sectors. The oil that comes out of Carinata, which is a non-food oil, the great thing about it is it can be converted into many different fuels that can really help us decarbonize hard to decarbonize sectors. Um, a good example of that is aviation. But today we are running planes on liquid fuels. And so being able to decarbonize those and be able to still run the plane on the same t fuel with just renewable carbon is critical to us going forward. New Seeds program maximizes greenhouse gas savings by rewarding growers for sustainable practices like low tillage and use of natural fertilizer. Through our contract with our farmer, and our ability to trace all the way back from fuel to field. And this is unique with our program. So that traceability allows us, through a third-party val validation, so we have an auditor that comes in and audits this, certifies us to the round table and sustainable biomaterials RSB, and be able to look at that traceability and transparency so that we can show people from the end fuel exactly what the carbon footprint is all the way back to the beginning of the field. The carbon mitigation potential of cover cropping is largely untapped. The cover crop potential is huge. In the world today, just thinking of three continents, North America, and South America, and Europe, you're talking about 176 million hectares of land, and less than 2% of that is cover crop today. Currently, we're growing in Argentina, Uruguay, moving into Paraguay and southern Brazil. Um, we have our Southeast US program kicking off this fall in 2022 and being able to grow uh, Carinata moving forward. And we're also looking at our expansion into Europe as well as Australia. Today, we have a very small percentage of renewable fuels in the stream. We need to replace huge amounts of fossil fuels going forward, both in light duty transport, but really in heavy duty transport, where the ability for some of these technologies that we're looking at for light duty don't exist. The New Seed Carinata program helps industry transition now to meet carbon reduction, social and sustainability commitments today for generations to come.